2024 continued with another big win for Iga Swiatek, grabbing at Indian Wells her second Masters 1000 title of the year and shocking the tennis universe. After a title in Doha and a semi-final in Dubai, Iga's Indian Wells magic was epic. Facing Maria Sakkari in the final wasn't just a match, it became a legendary moment, sparking widespread buzz. Wondering how the tennis world reacted to the pole's epic victory? Dive into Iga's saga and her Indian Wells triumph that rewrote history. Yeah, once she gets ahead, watch out. So I would be thinking about only the first four games if I'm playing. <laughs> Courtside at Indian Wells, Navratilova witnessed Iga's dominance unfold, securing her status as the reigning queen of women's tennis with a staggering 6-4, 6-love victory over Maria Sakkari. Iga's relentless success continues to reshape the history books, prompting Navratilova to draw comparisons to the legendary Serena Williams. Iga might not be the quickest player out there, but she's the most complete player out there and it really shows up on slow courts like this," said nine-time Wimbledon champion Navratilova. She is a fantastic player and is the best front runner we have had in the game since Serena Williams. Also, she can get better. Her serve can improve, so watch out! Former British number one Laura Robson echoed Navratilova's sentiments, applauding Iga's potential for further growth. It's a scary thought that she's 22 and still has things to improve on, commented Robson. The serve could get better, the volleys could get better, learning to come forward on different surfaces, but what a nice problem to have. Tim Henman also weighed in on Iga's stellar performance in California, emphasizing her strategic prowess on the court. When a lot of players go down the line, it looks like a high-risk strategy, but Iga is still playing with that element of spin. Therefore, she's got that net clearance, and she is able to open up her opponents. To be able to go down both wings and dictate by going cross-court or down the line is a great combination, and why she's having the success she is. Also, the American tennis legend Billie Jean King hopped on X to send her congratulations to Iga on snagging her second career victory in Tennis Paradise. And she's not the only one impressed. Agnieszka Radwanska, Magdalena Fretsch, and Renee Stubbs also joined in to applaud the poll's incredible effort. So picture this. After clinching the 2022 Bay and Pei Paribas Open title with a commanding victory over Sakkari, Iga found herself in a deja vu moment, facing off against the Greek powerhouse once again in this year's final at Tennis Paradise. And guess what? Lightning struck twice as the Polish sensation secured a sensational 6-4, 6 love win to claim the crown. Sensational Sviontek. Starting her Indian Wells campaign in the second round after a bye, the world number one bulldozed through tough opponents like Danielle Collins, Linda Noskova, Yulia Putinseva, Caroline Wozniak, and Marta Kostiuk en route to the championship match. Oh, and did we mention it? Iga didn't drop a single set throughout her entire 2024 Bay and Pei Paribas Open campaign. Talk about domination! Now let's talk tactics. The Polish star came out swinging in the final, quickly grabbing a three-love lead in the first set. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Maria Sakkari wasn't backing down without a fight. With the crowd rallying behind her, Sakkari clawed her way back into the match, tying it up at three and then four. It was neck and neck, but Iga's break in the ninth game sealed the deal. What a way to finish. Now, on to the second set. Breaking her opponent to love, Iga left no doubt who the queen of the court was. It was like watching a maestro conducting a symphony of shots. And before we knew it, bam, victory was hers. In just 68 minutes flat, Iga claimed her second Bayenpe Paribas Open title and solidified her status as one of the game's all-time greats. But wait, there's more. According to the legendary Navratilova, Maria Sakkari's best shot at victory would have been nabbing that elusive first set. However, Iga had other plans, swiftly snatching both sets to secure not only the win, but also a comparison to the mighty Serena Williams. Yep, Navratilova boldly declared Iga as the best front runner since the 23-time Grand Slam champion herself. But what do you guys think? Is Iga truly the best front runner since Serena Williams? Amazing player, 
very good person, um, you know, incredible champion. After her loss, Sakari acknowledged Iga's stellar play, but she also pointed out something crucial, fatigue. The Greek admitted that exhaustion from her tough semi-final against Coco Goff played a role in her defeat. She stressed the importance of closing out matches, hinting that things might have been different if she wasn't so tired. The Greek star also highlighted Iga's ability to finish matches in straight sets, which gave her an edge, especially in the latter stages of tournaments. I feel like that's why, you know, Iga does so well. If you look at her records, she rarely plays three sets. Then that really helps her in those later stages of the tournament, Sakari said. What do you guys think about Sakari's analysis? Was she right about Iga? Now, not only are tennis legends talking, but fans are going wild too. After dominating Maria Sakari to claim her second Indian Wells title, fans flooded X with reactions about Iga. And let us tell you, they were impressed. It's impressive how ordinary Iga Svantec makes really very good tennis players look, they wrote. Another fan wrote, just send her to the ATP already, it's unfair. Some other fans tweeted what they felt about Iga's triumph. Oh, a bagel to win a Masters is wild, and she's the Serena Williams of this generation. But Iga isn't just winning over tennis fans anymore. She's got movie stars cheering her on too. How cool is that? Zendaya and Tom Holland's appearance at Indian Wells got everyone talking. Hollywood celebrities in tow for the day. But wait, it gets better. Zendaya was spotted hanging out with Iga, sparking rumors that she's an Iga superfan. The best part? It wasn't just a quick meet and greet. It looked like they were old pals catching up. And you know what happens when Hollywood meets tennis. It's a whole new level of awesome. Fans went wild, speculating about Zendaya joining the Iganator squad. This unexpected celebrity sighting added an extra layer of excitement to Iga's victory, leaving fans feeling super proud. With all this excitement buzzing around, the glamour and atmosphere were simply off the charts. Now, you might be wondering, why is Indian Wells dubbed Tennis Paradise? Well, leave it to Iga to give us her unique take on it. What makes Indian Wells a uh, tournament Tennis Paradise? The mountains, the sunsets, it's just nice to be in that environment. The fans, I think that's an obvious answer because uh, there are fans all around and they're you know, supporting us so you can really feel the love. And now, after diving into the reactions from tennis legends and fans and movie stars alike, let's zoom in on some of the jaw-dropping stats from Iga's Indian Wells triumph. Just getting to the final was a spectacle in itself. Iga bulldozed her way through the competition, losing just 20 games along the way. That's domination at its finest, folks. And get this, with a win rate of 89.5%, she's now tied with none other than Steffi Graf for the highest win rate in the history of Indian Wells. That's some legendary company right there. But wait, there's more. Iga's making history left and right. She's reached the final in a staggering 37% of WTA 1000 main draws entered, surpassing even Serena Williams. And let's not forget, she's the first number one seed to clinch the Indian Wells title since 2012. And when it comes to finals, Iga is a force to be reckoned with. With a record of 19 and four, she's won a whopping six titles in a row since being beaten by Arena Sabalenka in a three-setter at the Madrid Open in May 2023. Talk about an unstoppable streak. Plus, she's now tied with tennis legends like Chris Evert and Martina Navratilova for the most titles after their first 23 WTA level finals. But hold on, there's one more jaw dropping stat. Iga's dominance extends to her performances against the top 10 players. She's racked up 36 wins in her first 50 top 10 clashes, putting her in a league of her own alongside legends like Venus and Serena Williams. Speaking on the win in California, Iga declared, Every year I come here, I feel a really positive vibe. I want to thank my team for every little thing we work on, which ends up working. For sure, we're going to celebrate. Many things to celebrate. With these incredible achievements under her belt, and with all the praise from the tennis community, Iga has firmly cemented herself as a force to be reckoned with on the tennis court. And yes, this is just the beginning of her journey to tennis greatness.